Mormon Dingley is right. The new romantic comedy Hysteria stars Hugh Dancy as a young doctor in the 1880s. By chance, he happens to invent, let's call it a very personal device for women. The British actor has received high praise for his film and stage work. He's currently on Broadway in Venus and Fur. Hugh Dancy, welcome. Good morning. So when they came to you to present <laughs> this movie to you, mm -hmm. how did they define and describe Dr. Granville? <laughs> well, the... The tagline is pretty straightforward. They asked me if I wanted to play the man who invented the vibrator. And, and you said... Are we allowed to say vibrator on TV, Hugh? It's too late now. And, uh, and, and yeah. you've made the movie, yes. and I'm here. Yes. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, and I said, yes, I've been waiting for your call. <laughs> you always wanted to know who that was and what he was like. Well, I mean, it's an intriguing story, in it fact. It is, it yeah. is. I know, and let's set it up, Hugh, because I, I was really fascinated by watching it. Because it, in, the, in the beginning, it really started out as correcting a medical problem of sorts for women. And, right. I, and I got a kick out of that it was called hysteria because... Mm -hmm. Well, because what they thought they were doing, the, the great medical minds of the 1880s, was um, treating women for for what they called hysteria, and that's because they thought that they were shifting their uteruses. Yes, yes. Um, they, they didn't recognize that there was anything sexual about what they were doing whatsoever. And they were doing it manually, and then they, they realized... Were, they were doing it manually, thank you. That's, that's very yes. delicate. What you were looking for, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, were, they were performing this operation manually. They uh -huh. were, they were um, causing the women to have what they called paroxysms. Yes. And all of this was um, in the pursuit of medical science. And, um, and this guy, Mortimer Granville, um, of course, electricity was discovered around the same time, and, and he put two and two together and created the device. It was really a labor-saving device for doctors. It's true, yes, yes, because, yes, their, their wrists were getting a little tired. In the beginning, they, they came up with all these different names, the Jolly Molly, the Rubby Nubby, mm -hmm. the Exciter. Yes, I think we might have invented them. But, yeah. but. the Scream. <laughs> But, you know, I want people to know that it really, there is a, there is a comedy there. Yeah. And I think it, the, the topic makes people so uncomfortable, and it really shouldn't. Well, we took, I mean, we, we took a lot of liberties. It's a, it is a comedy. You're exactly right. I think the funniest thing in the movie is this it premise, is. which is true, which is that these, these guys, very, very intelligent, well-educated men, were doing this astonishing thing without yes. having any idea what was, what was happening right in front of their eyes. And, um, uh, you know, it's a... It's a, myself and Jonathan Price, it's a wonderful well, cast. Jonathan and, Price. Yeah, yeah. He's a fabulous can, actor. Can I just, Charlie, can I just say my favorite scene in the movie? Hugh strikes bingo and the woman starts singing the opera and then she right. starts crying. She finds her voice. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. found her voice. I thought that scene was hilarious. Do you ever watch Homeland? I do, yes, I've heard of that show. Who's your favorite character? <laughs> Uh, I did. When, when my wife was filming that show last year, it was already screening, so I would get my weekly uh, fix. You had to have it. I did. I would yeah. see her every week on the screen. It, it's yeah. amazing how many yeah. people consider their favorite television. It's a, it's a great show. Yeah. How is it living in a busy, two-career family? Well, I mean, busy is good. Busy, busy better is than really not. good, yeah. yes. Um, so no complaints there, and, and um, in terms of the logistics, we, we, we make it work. And Venus for Fur is? Venus and Fur is, we're at the Lyceum Theatre on Broadway yeah. right now, um, every night. And we've got another four and a half weeks, I believe. It's, it's a fantastic new play by David Ives. Um, oh, yeah. Just two characters, right. two, two hander. We're on stage for an hour, just over an hour and a half, and it's a fast moving, yeah. very sexy. They very call funny. it very steamy and it very is. sexy. Yeah. It's yeah. sort of like, they said, a psycho sexual relationship between the two of them. I'm thinking sex is good for you. Yeah. I, well, I will quote you on that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that a 90-minute 90, 90 uh, theater experience is great. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Me too, Charlie. Me That's, too. Yeah, that in itself is, it is. is a very yeah. good thing. And it was nominated for a Tony, the play, so congratulations. Right. Thank you very and much. And they couldn't have gotten a Tony nomination without your work. Well, thank so you. congratulations. Thank you, Hugh Dancy. Hysteria, by the way, opens in New York and Los Angeles.